Hello and welcome to another Hun's History Nest podcast, where history is enjoyed and salvaged forever. This is the first podcast on the title, Jacksonian Democracy. And we're going to begin here with the election of 1828. And really, this is a continuation of the corrupt bargain. The corrupt bargain, which Andrew Jackson titled the previous presidential election of 1824, um, he made the vow for the next four years that he would uh, do something that nobody else has done. And that is that he would actually promote himself in a campaign. And the promotion, or to promote one's self, this is considered to be kind of improper, but Andrew Jackson didn't care. Now, he did have a manager, and his manager was an individual from New York, seen here in the lower left, Martin Van Buren from Kinderhook, New York. Um, he is kind of, the best way to know him is, he's kind of the brains behind the creation of the Democratic Party. And he is going to make the image of Andrew Jackson something that is electable. He's going to make this war hero image once again something people want, like George Washington. He's going to use nicknames like Old Hickory. He's actually going to use campaign slogans and songs. And the song for which you could look up on YouTube, Hunters of Kentucky, a very famous song used in both his presidential elections. They're going to promote this idea that he's the common man. He was born in a log cabin. Uh, and the idea of education, I put a question mark here, that most Americans didn't have a college education, so this makes him so uh, even more of the common man. The other thing is, is he's a rags to riches story. Born into poverty, becomes a millionaire raising horses. Um, they're going to use campaigns. They're going to travel the country. They're going to give parties, roast pigs, and they're going to use an alcohol, hard cider, to provide people, and then once everybody's partied it up, they're going to have stump speeches. Literally, Andrew Jackson would get on a tree stump and provide a speech, and he was one phenomenal speaker. They're going to use slogans and songs, and they're going to get to know the people. All of these things ultimately lead to a presidential victory. And the thing to notice here is this presidential victory comes under the title of the first time ever, the Democratic Party. And you'll notice that John Quincy Adams loses, but he is a national Republican. So we have the first ever presidential election of the Democrats versus the Republicans. One other thing that was utilized during this campaign was negative campaigning. Um, and the negative campaigning got pretty bad. Now, John Quincy Adams never partook in it, you know, basically himself. Um, but his Republicans did. And one of the things that Andrew Jackson was furious with is there were a lot of rumors about his wife, Rachel. And ultimately, it leads to her death during this presidential election in 1828. And he, he will always, to the day of his death, blame uh, this political race for her, her death. Now, the other thing that we're going to take a Another look at here before this podcast is over is the Tariff of 1828. Now, the Tariff of 1828 was the issue of this presidential election in the same year. And this Tariff of 1828 was made into an issue by Andrew Jackson. Now, just a little bit on tariffs. A tariff is a tax on imported goods. And this was especially hurtful to the south, especially South Carolina. South Carolina is where the biggest port is, Charleston, and cotton would be exported from there, and these cotton ships would then return with imported goods from Europe. Now, the Tariff of 1828 was actually the third tariff. There was one in 1816, 1824, and then 1828, but the one in 1828 was absolutely terrible. And it was nicknamed the Tariff of Abominations because it was so high. As a matter of fact, on some items, it was as high as, as you can see here, 50%. Um, this was used to create an issue. 